Alrighty, continuing off from where we left off last time. We just turned some images into four different PDFs. We got our beach, balloons, mountain stars over here on the left as PDF forms, whereas originally they were just straight up JPEGs. Um, just for an example, here's our nice little beach.pdf. We're going to actually this time destructively crop these PDFs. This is based off a comment of uh, that our last crop wasn't actually a destructive crop, it was actually just hiding. And that's typical of uh, modern edits to PDFs and even some images, is that it tries to save all that data just so you can undo things later down the road. But what if you do want to just get rid of it, get a smaller file size or something like that? We don't want to just crop it, we actually want to cut it, with a, which is basically using our media box rather than our crop box. Um, the way I like to look at it is there's a picture frame on the wall. Um, if you just take the picture and you put it in the frame, usually you don't see edge to edge because that frame hides part of that image. That's kind of like cropping it. Whereas if you actually truly destructively crop it, you're taking the image out of the out of the frame and then just cutting the cutting the picture down to size. Um, that would be a true destructive crop. You won't ever get that back even if you do use some tape and glue. But let's get on to doing this media box here. We're going to use our Pi PDF 2. Since last time they've updated a significant amount to a 3.0, and we're actually on 3.0.1 here, but in the 3.0 version they removed the PDF file reader and changed it just to PDF reader and PDF writer. Took that file name out of it because it does more than just files now. We're still just doing it with the files though. We're going to go with this PDF reader function and pass in our beach PDF in read mode with the R command and just pass it into a reader object. From there, rather than doing our dot get num pages, which is depreciated with 3.0, we're going to do reader.pages, that would give us all our pages, and we just want to get length, len, of that object. That shows us that, sure as, sure enough, we have just a single page because we started with a single image. We haven't done anything to actually make it more than a single page with this current file, but that's simple enough for this example. So we're just going to get reader.pages0, this first page, make that our page object. And with this page object, we can get the media box, the dot media box, dot lower left, lower right, and upper left, and upper right to get our formats. Let's just do some fancy printing here to actually have it say lower left is equal to the zero zero comment. That's the bottom left pixel. Then you get your lower right is 1620 by zero. Upper left is zero 1080 and upper right is our 1620 by 1080. As you can see, I found some HD images here. That gives us our 1080 images. But if we just do page.mediabox, don't do the lower, upper, left, and right, we actually get a rectangle object returned to us. That shows us our left, bottom left and our upper right all in one little line here. If that's all you needed is just to pull that out. So we're going to try to determine a crop area now. now um, we can't just crop this and pretend that we can print it as an 8.5 by 11 because of good printing resolution is actually 300 pixels per inch. Um, and if we take our 1620 divided by 300 and our 1080 divided by 300, we only really can have a high resolution image of 5.5 by 3.5 roughly inches. And But we're not really printing it right now. We're just, we just wanted to make a page in PDF so that we can send this file back and forth across the internet as PDF format. So we're not going to worry about that, but just for information, 300 pixels per inch is pretty standard for printing high resolution stuff. Um, we're still going to just jump to this 8.5 by 11 ratio. So we got our paper ratio is a 0.77. Our HD ratio actually is a 0.66. Um, so since our HD ratio, HD image ratio, is smaller than our paper ratio. We're going to need to do a little conversion, find a new width, 
it's 1080 divided by that paper ratio, that gets us 1397. So what, what that means is our image currently is um, 18, I mean, uh, 1620 tall, I mean wide by 1080 tall. We're trying to cut off, crop the sides off a little bit so that it actually is fitting an eight and a half by 11 ratio. So we can fit it into a nice standard page for our PDF because, hey, most times PDFs are documents. Now that we know our new width is 1398, we're going to make a writer object with our PDF writer function here. Writer equals PDF writer. And we're going to just store that away for a little while. But take our page that we had before, page.mediabox.lower left equals. So we're actually changing it now. Now we're going to take our 1620 minus new width for our lower left and our upper left to also change it to 1620 by minus new width. But this time it's 1080 on the height. And what we're doing here is we didn't want to go from zero on the far left here to 1398 over on this side because this tree is kind of cool. Whereas this is just standard horizon and water. We'll crop off this side. It's a little less exciting here. So rather than going shrinking it down from the left side, we want to just shrink it down from the right side. Hence why we're taking What's that difference that we're actually cutting off? Because we're moving our zero in inside slightly. So it's, we're taking off about 300. So this is about roughly 300 here, comma zero, and 300, comma 1080. Uh, now that we saved that new page with its new lower left and upper left, we're going to go into our writer.add page and pass in that page that we just edited. That that updates the writer object. Then since we don't have any more pages to add, we're just going to go outstream equals open beach underscore cropped dot PDF. That's our new file name. Don't have it anywhere here right now, but we're going to create it during that open process and then pass in WB so that we can actually write to it. We're going to do writer dot write, pass in the file that we're trying to write to, which is the outstream we just opened up and then after that saves we're going to do outstream.close so we don't have to uh, keep things lingering in the background here now that we got that file saved let's beach underscore crop open that up and sure enough there's a lot smaller space over here but just to be sure we'll make that full screen i mean size that to the screen here open up our old beach make sure that's size to the screen and sure enough there you see that same tree on the right here and a bit of a gap over there and still have that tree didn't crop anything off the right side but on the left side it's much narrower in between that umbrella and the edge of the image so we'll now jump into the other three images we got a stars a mountains and a balloons um close out these beach ones and back to our image here so starting off with our balloons, what looks good? Oh, this is kind of nice over here, but there's a little bit of a bigger gap on this side. So how about let's do the right side this time instead. So just rather than before where we did the subtraction of the original width minus our new width to get how far in we should move from zero, we're just going all the way to the other edge on the right side with our lower underscore right and upper underscore right and doing our new width. That's our 1398. And we just put all that in from before into one little command. I mean, command set here, run that whole thing. We now have our balloons cropped. And sure enough, we cropped off that right balloon. But hey, what if we only had one of those two? This is a little more um, framed nicely than this one. This is a nice wide frame image but if we wanted a full eight and a half by eleven that's what we needed so we'll crop off the left of this mountains because he's kind of jumping off to the right there that's a little more progressive we don't need this lake over here so do the same thing with the lower left upper left that we did earlier with a 1620 minus new width run that command open that guy up 
cropped off half that leg, but he's still jumping right in. Got a nice rule of thirds there. Now, the stars. This guy is pretty dead centered in this with the galaxy right above him. We kind of want to keep that. So what if we don't do just the left or just the right, but do a little bit of both. Do some math here. 1620 by minus our new width. That's how far we want to totally crop off the image. And we just divide that by two. So that's how far in we're going on the left, just halfway in that we originally did. And then our other side, we want to go new width. That's how far over we were. If we only went that far, we'd be taking the whole right side off. But we want to do that same thing above the 1620 minus new width divided by two. That'll take us only half of that distance in. So add that to our new width, get a little bit of both sides. And our stars, there you go. Nice and centered still. Original? No, cropped off. We now have our background of our PDF reader. So what do we do? If we want to make all four of these into just one PDF in Python, we're going to use the PDF writer, make a writer object, and make a little for loop here with our four different file names, cycle, cycle through them all with a for in PDF in file name array. We're just going to do writer.append PDF. This append function is just going to take the file name that you do, that you added, and just append it to the end of wherever writer is already at. We start off with a blank function, so the beach will be the first page, followed by balloons, mountains, and then stars lastly. We'll just do writer.write and write it to a merge.pdf. This is a slightly different way to do a write. We don't have to necessarily always do an open stream, but that was used for the actual pages where you need to turn it into from a page object into a writable object. Here, since we're just taking the PDF name, PDF file, and just pending it, we can easily just do a dot write into the PDF. Then to close it off, we'll do a writer.close. Let's run this here. We've got this not wonderful merge file now. Let's take a look. What do you know? One of four pages here. Beach, balloons, mountains, and stars. Now, what if we wanted to change it around a little bit? And didn't want the stars as the last one, but wanted to have the second one. And we already had it saved as that merge one. We couldn't necessarily in independently take all these files again. We're going to take this writer.pdf writer. We're going to take our merged file, say that was our original one, and take our first merge, open that merge.pdf, and then we're going to take our stars. We're just going to shove that in at some point. So we're going to open that one in as a separate file as stars equals open stars crop.pdf rb. Both of those are readable objects. Now we're going to go reader.append. We're going to get a little fancier this time with it. First merge, that's our merge file of four, but we only take want to take pages zero to three. So we're actually just taking one, two, and three, indexed starting at zero though, of course, and start that with a pen. So our new writer function just has the first three pages dropped off that last page, which happened to be the stars. And then we're going to do another merge, writer.merge. We're going to take a writer function that has the first three pages again, start with position one, which isn't page one, but page two, because we position zero is the first page. And then we're going to in, merge in the file object stars. So we already opened up the stars cropped. It's a single page. If it was more, it would shove all those in starting on page two, but we're just doing a single page. So that'll be page two followed by the original page two. Just do a simple write, merge new PDF. There we go. One of four pages. We get our beach, followed by our stars this time, balloons, and mountains. Now, I know that wasn't the efficient way to do it, but just wanted to show you some of the capabilities. Sometimes you might not be able to do the original merge. I mean, append function, and you might need to use a merge. So just wanted to point that out there. Hope this helps. 
please like, subscribe, and add any comments about what you think you might want to see next. Until next time, have a great day.